Oh, hey guys. I'm going to explain some more of my spiritual experiences I had. Okay, I'm going to tell you what happened to start off with. Okay, when I let that, uh, when I sent that spirit, the spirit came into my inner light. I didn't find this out till like five years later. Okay, just to let you know. I didn't find this out till five years later. What happened was, when the spirit came into my inner light and went through my head, it destroyed all the skins. And the skins are what separate the mind from the spirit world, okay? They're called ethereal skins. Imagine an onion and all the layers of the onion protect the inner core. Is food for the inner core of an onion. Well, that's what's sort of like for us. When you're born into a body, your spirit is in there, your soul is in there, and the skins are a cross between the physical and the spiritual and they protect you from spiritual influences from seeing spirit you know the saying you're wrapped tight you're wrapped tight well that's the saying that's what it means you're wrapped tight all your skins are tight <gasps> so tight you can't even see spirit you're all ego sort of thing and uh, that's what it means now I'll give you other examples people that hang themselves people that commit suicide and live and then they hear the voices and they go crazy and all this shit happens in their heads and they lose it well they're probably already there to begin with but it's ten times worse now because when you do that when you kill yourself and you cross over you lose all your skins okay and there's a lot a lot from from the flesh all the way down from high in the spirit world all the way down to the low from from the flesh out and we're talking DNA down to the DNA um, in your spine in your brain and there's different kinds of skins so there's a lot of different skins well all mine got blown away boof and I had to heal, but I didn't even know. I'm talking to spirits. I'm talking to the dead around me 24 seven for like four years straight, three years before I started healing. And yeah, before I got the right Christ to help me out. And I'll explain that too. So, the whole time I'm talking to these spirits, I'm getting wrapped up in their drama and I'm getting wrapped up with them personally, okay? Which means I'm connecting to that spirit, which means every word I say to that spirit and is a connection to inside me. It's a very fine little connection, smaller than a hair, okay? Like smaller, I, that's the way I see it. It's like smaller than hair. So you'd say you talked to a spirit for like five hours, and you said, and you spoke ten thousand words to that spirit. You're hooking up to that spirit inside you. You're connecting to it. Okay, and everything you say is a link in your neural net, in your spine, in your brain. Imagine it being, I, I interpret it as a hair, because basically it's, what it's like a hair. And you go, and it sticks in your head. And now you're totally facilitating it with that spirit, okay? And you're so bogged down with links, that, that I call them a link. <clears throat> a hairline link, let's call it that. A hairline link to that spirit. Now imagine doing that with thousands or hundreds of spirits over the course of a week, a month, or three years. All those people are linked into you, okay? 
and uh, you're replacing. Now your, your ethereal skin is supposed to keep most of that out. You are not, you're not supposed to talk to spirits. You're down here in the physical, living the physical life. You leave the spirit communication to your spirit, right? But as you're talking to these spirits, they're linking to you. And the only way to get out of where I was was to get rid of all the links. But I didn't know that at the time. So I'm just catching up so you're not lost in the next hundred videos of me talking about this before I get to explaining it. So I had to get all these links removed, close up, heal my spirit skins. They naturally heal. But you, you, you don't know how to do it. You've never been there. No one knows how to do it. It's not even accepted in the physical world. So who are you going to go to? You're going to go to the mental ward. That's where you're going to go. You're going to put on drugs. And you're going to sit around and drool on yourself for the rest of your life. I didn't want to do that. So I went the spiritual way. I figured I am spiritually got into this. I'm spiritually getting out. And I ain't going no fucking mental ward. <laughs> That's it. That's for me, okay? Uh, you can go on all day. Who, what, where, why? I wasn't doing it. I don't care. I've been to the med my my friend was the same way I was. He committed suicide three times, and he was having the same exact, damn near exact experience as I was. And he took the mental ro mental word route. I wasn't doing it, and I saw what he went through, and I'm like, hell no, hell no. I could not, I could not live in there. Holy fuck. So, i explain more of that as the time goes on. All these, I'll explain everything in more fascinating, sick detail of my experience of what I went through. Now, when, I, when, I, when I'm speaking, what I'm going to speak of, when I'm talking about Christianity, healing the skins, Christ... I have to look at it objectively within myself to interpret it and put it out, okay? I experienced it, but when I'm saying it to you, I gotta look at it objectively, all right? That's how I do it inside. I don't know how it's gonna come out of my mouth, but that's what I'm doing when I'm explaining all this to you. And that's how I, I just observe it. I observe what's happening in the spirit world, all the things. And I equate it, analyze it inside myself, and come to a theory and understanding of what's going on within myself. I can't prove it to nobody, but this is what I do, right? This is how I work. So, anyway, so the, the, the first thing I'm seeing in the spirit world, I'm running around, going crazy, talking spirits. Finally, and the energy in my head is ringing <clears throat> all day long. So I decided I have to get Christ, man. I have to get Jesus. I have to get Jesus. I don't know. nothing. never called on Jesus in my whole life. Maybe I have when the ETs came. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. But um, So I called on Jesus. And my spirit guide, my wife, from long before, I'm 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 I make a love to her. Okay, like she came down out of heaven, down to the lower astral to help me out, and and that was inevitable. You're gonna meet your make a love in a minute, and like just like that. So more links. She didn't know anything about no links. I didn't know anything about no links. Okay. I never would have done it if I'd known about the links. Holy fuck. I never would have done any of this. So. So time goes on, all this. And there, there are also my spirit guide, my wife, and the two kids that are here from another place. They, we, they, 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 I go to bed at night. 
and they talked to other spirits. And there was two spirits, just for, this is just an example. They would go next door, my window was right here, okay. They would go next door to the next house where there was a couple other spirits. And they were like hippies, like like uh, 30 year old hippie spirits. That's the, that's the impression I got. I never talked to them because I couldn't handle any more spirits or any more drama. I just listened to their conversations. And they'd be over there talking because I'm linked up to my wife and the two kids, right? So I'm listening to them talk to the other two spirits as I'm falling asleep every night. And I hear other things. And, you know, other dramas would come around, other spirits would come around. And, and so it was crazy, man. I'm, I'm just saying, that's this is what happens all day, all night. I'm just putting out little examples. And... I'm totally wrapped up in the spirit world, totally, and I, I, I'm losing, I'm, I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think, I'm like, I ask my wife, okay, look, you gotta find a Jesus for me, and find Jesus for me, get me Jesus, I didn't understand the concept of Jesus, you know, I basically knew the Bible's bullshit, but I think, from what I understood, was Christ and all the deities and the heaven, and the, and the heaven, because I had experiences with heaven, of before I was born, so I know it existed, and I wanted to get them guys down here to help me out. So I wanted some like doctor, scientist type thing, Christ to come down and help me out, right? And I remember before I was born, I was in heaven with Christ, going through the routine, all that stuff, but I didn't understand I wasn't Christian in the body the body, the body framework, I wasn't a Christian in the body. No one ever told me that. Oh, okay, so that's a big difference. That makes a lot of big difference. Your soul can be Christian, but your mental framework, or maybe they didn't know, but I knew, but I'm telling them they didn't believe me. That what what I'm telling them, what I'm telling you now that I'm a Christian. But I'm not labeled, I don't go to church, I don't believe in any religion. But I just fucking threw everybody off. They didn't understand what the hell I was talking about. And I'm like, well, oh, whatever. And sometimes, you know, I think, I think I'd be going nuts. Like, am I dreaming all this? Am I dreaming all this? Am I just fantasizing it? And I knew you could create... In the spirit world, you can create in the spirit world, and you, you can manifest in the spirit world real fast by projecting your stuff. Okay, but like, like a dream, it's sort of like a dream space. But I'm awake in a dream, and I'm trying to keep in control of myself, and I'm trying to keep. And so my only focus points were the two kids and my wife. Right, the rest. You don't really know. It could be like a dream space. A fantasy. You don't know what's real and what ain't. You don't know who's lying to you and who ain't. Okay? In the spirit world. And everything you project out in the spirit world comes back to you. Right? So you project peace and love. Peace and love comes back to you. Right? Nice things. When you project anger, rage, or resentment, or whatever, it comes back to you. Then you get the spirits that are real, that are doing their own thing, and they have their own agenda within the fantasy matrix. From the perception of your own brain, okay? So you gotta, you gotta equate all that. You just can't go and say, dream up a monster, and call it a monster, or call it Dracula, or Frankenstein's monster, or a demon. You created it. And I already had experiences in that in the dream space when I dreamed before I went before I lost my skin so I know all this and I'm already I've been in contact with my inner light I live by my inner light pretty much most of my life from and then I, when I figured out the inner light is actually talking to me like through impressions and feelings and me and him started I started listening to him I accepted my inner light as my as my uh He's going to create and show me the truth, right? And I totally submitted to my inner light. A long time ago. Ten years before that. 
15 years when I was a kid. So I said, you you show me what you got to show me. I'll sit back and watch. And I'll ask. I'll, I'll work with you. And But most of the part, you guide me through my life, my inner light. That's what I said. He guided me right to where I am now. <clears throat> now, not him. I fucked up, right? But so in the spirit world, you got that to play with. You got, you got dream space fantasy stuff. You got actual entities, actual Christ, actual stuff going on. So you never really know what's going on. Then you got interactions between other people in the physical. Say your cousin, your mom, they're interacting with you also. And you gotta figure out what's real and what's not. And keep track of it in your head. Meanwhile, you're totally wrapped up in the spirit world and you're trying to find a way out. But you can't. Okay? I mean you can't. You can no, you can't. There's no there's no possible way. There's no possible way. So I told my wife, you know, get me out of Christ, get me Christ. I I can start me healing because I get the fuck out of here. I don't know, I don't know. Something's gotta be done. So she goes and gets Christ. Christ comes down. And he talks to me. He does all the whispering stuff in my ear. He comes up to me at night and he goes, and he fucking says this whole big chant. This whole big chant. And it freaked me out right in my ear. I can hear it physically. Okay? And then he does all this stuff. He does all these blessings. And he does all the incense stuff. And a whole bunch of stuff I didn't understand. And then he gets me doing little projects for him, right? Now, I'm, I'm listening to him. He's saying, you got to do this, you got to do this. And you got to pray at this time and do this and do this. And I'm like, you know, oh, that's all cool. Okay, he'll do it. So I did that for about two weeks. And then I'm doing his his bidding. And then finally one day I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, this is going nowhere. Uh, and I said, Gee, Christ, listen, Jesus, listen. It, it, it ain't working. This ain't working. I don't. I don't understand. It's, and he's he's showing me things back from World War Two to like Roman days. Okay, like not maybe Roman days, medieval days, knights and chopping and killing and things like this. I'm like, dude. I go. You know what time? It's 2015. Okay or whatever year it was, it was like 2013, 2020 or something. I'm like, that wasn't 17 years, it was 2015 or something. Anyway, from the time I was experiencing it, it was like seven years ago. And he's showing me stuff, and I go, it's, 20, it's 2014, dude, come on. You gotta catch up. And he's treating me like I'm an alcoholic. Okay, and I, he's, he's treating me like when you're an alcoholic and you go to a Christian rehabilitation alcoholic place. We got one here in Windsor called Triple, Triple A Alcoholic or something. And it's a Christian place. You go in there, they do the whole Christian thing on you, and they treat your standard symptoms for an alcoholic. And you're a Christian and that's what they do. Okay, so I am... He's treating me like that. And I go, no, no, no. I'm not a drug addict. I'm not an alcoholic. Right? <clears throat> and he goes, okay, well. And the whole time I'm fighting with these. And he's not around all the time. Okay, he's not around all the time. I just see him certain times. And he is also... I'm thinking, is this a real... Is this real Jesus? Like, he don't know a lot for Jesus, right? And, uh, he was a real Christ, I think. But not what you're thinking, because there's more of the story. Let me hang on. Keep going. And, uh, so he, I end up, as time progresses with this Jesus, I end up fighting other spirits, because I'm with him. I'm not with him all the time. Only at certain times. Like, when I go to bed, he comes and talks and other than that, I'm out there fighting the monsters. So I'm, I'm keep running into these bad, these bad uh, spirits, entities, 
right? I keep running into them. I'm like, fuck. And, um, like, so much so, they won't leave me alone. I can't sleep at night because they kind of fuck with me. They're smacking my feet. They come up and smack your feet with sticks to wake you up. Whoosh! They got a stick. And they smack your fucking... And it hurts. And you're fucking kicking it in the face. And they're running. And then they run away. And your spirit guy's chasing them away. And then they come back. And it happens all night long. Stupid fucking shit. And, uh... I'm losing my mind, right? This is just like a little example. There's so much more. I can't even remember how much there was. But these bad spirits were coming around. All the time. And finally, I figured I gotta make a defense. So one time, this bad spirit came up to me. And I figured I'd do all like a window clerk on him, right? So I, I was sleeping. He came up. And... Uh, was getting in my face and I knew it was the same one because I was damn near linked up to him not from talking to him just from him being around attacking me so much so my spirit guy was off talking to the neighbors or something with the other kids he come up I immediately I saw him come up look you see all around you right and so he came up and I grabbed him by the like that I grabbed him I went like that right at the chest and I got his skin, I, I, I grabbed his clothes, that's what I thought. I grabbed his clothes, and as I went to pull him towards me to punch him, I ripped his clothes off, and I had a handful of clothes. And he turned into like clear, quasi color, but he still had this, his out, out form. And he ran away, and never came back. And I had these clothes, and I threw them away. Right, I'm gonna get this shit off. And my spirit goes, what happened? what happened? I go, I just told her what happened. I ripped his clothes off. She goes, you ripped his skin off. Turns out, spirits have skins. They present themselves to you in whatever form they are. But there's a, a skin. And I just ripped the skin off. So they gotta rematerialize the skin, right? And I'm like, well, fuck. That was nothing. He goes, she goes, holy shit, you can do that? I'm like, I just did it. And so every fucking spirit that came around that attacked me, I ripped her fucking skins off and I left. Monsters, fucking big, nasty, giant, evil, rotten things. Ripped the skin off, throw it away. But it only, it only did it when they attacked me, right? Or drive me fucking nuts. I, after I told them to leave. And then I started telling the spirits, I'm going to rip your skin off if you don't. Well, what the fuck do you think you can do? Rip. Gone, they're gone. They never come back. Because it takes them a long time to uh, get it back. Right? So basically, it's just a sheath of energy. Informed energy creating their pres presentation to their world. Sort of like you putting on clothes in the morning. They put on skin. If they don't put it on, it's them representing themselves through the skin. An ethereal skin. And <laughs> I ripped it off them. <laughs> so if you ever have a demon attack and you're lost in the spirit world, and the demons and you see them, reach out, grab them, and just pull the skin off. Pretty much gone. And then call for Christ, which you should have Christ consciousness in you anyway. Start off with... <clears throat> That's what you do. That's a good defense, man. Don't talk to it. Just rip the skin off and it'll go away. Cause that's one thing they don't like. They might come back later for uh, really kick your ass. I don't know. I don't know. I never happened to me. Once I ripped your skin off, that was it. And so, as I was ripping their skins off, Jesus, Jesus is, and then he, uh, there were so many bad things happening. And then these little black things come out of the ground, these little black things. I see them running around once in a while. Little black forms like rats, but big ones and little ones, and they're, like, black. And I go, what are these little black things running around? They go, they're energies, they're energies or something, and they don't, they're just always there. They just... In, in the lower astral, right? 
And so, they were never really much of a bother, but I don't know if I went and looked at them, but these things were always around, and people just ignored them, and they did their thing. But I noticed also, instead of going, I, I would lay down at night, and I'd see the little black things running around out on the street. But I'm laying in my bed, but I'm looking out on the street, because once you relax and let go, you're already in the spirit world. You can see for like 100 miles wherever your attention goes. So wherever my attention went when I was talking, I would see these little black things. And then there would be someone who, who all of a sudden, you're sleeping, and all of a sudden someone would start screaming, help, 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 screaming like they're being raped or murdered. And so eventually we started going over there and checking it out to see what the hell was going on, right? And there would be like a boyfriend attacking a girl again. Like a repeat from what happened on Earth. But I don't know if that was the case or if it was just happening. A spirit was attacking somebody. So we go over there and I'd rip his skin off and you know and uh or my spirit guys would go over there and take care of it. So basically and then so it's like a drama that kept going. I don't know. Throughout the world random throughout your throughout the city in the spirit world it's like another city in the spirit world of the city but it's a little different but I noticed the blackness on the on the ground the ground was black it had black parts but then it had like what looked like reality what looked like in reality a sidewalk a street trees and grass but then there would be other parts where it's just like this black goopy shit and these little black things would come in and out of it and I'm like what the fuck is this black stuff oh and that's uh that's all the negative energy it pulls up and fall goes down Christ told me he was just fucking me around the bottom of it and I noticed it's everywhere and I'm like it's around me it's around everywhere I go and so that's gonna lead me to my next video